before this video starts, let me just say that these are, I don't want to say total speculation, but we haven't heard anything from the Nets, we haven't heard anything from Woj, and we haven't heard anything from Shams or Shams or however you say his name. So I just want to throw that out there, that we're taking this stuff with a grain of salt. So just, for some of you Nets fans who are still mad at Philly, it's a literal grain of salt, just so I can't confirm anything, so I will say allegedly before we get into the discussion. Allegedly. Allegedly, Ben Simmons is coming back and is targeting game four or game five or something around that realm. I got my fingers crossed for game three because coming back to the Barclays and having him there would be dope. But from the reports I've seen, they're shooting for game four. I could be wrong on that. Who knows? This stuff seems to change every day. Nets Republic, Seven the Bond. Let's talk about the shenanigans for a second. Now, we've already been hip, if you will, as the young kids say. We've already been hip to the fact that Ben Simmons will be making a return in the playoffs at some time. We just didn't know what it would be. New reports are coming out that are saying it is during the first round, and it will definitely be, well, not definitely, it will allegedly be game four or game three-ish. Now, as I stated the last time we even discussed this realm of possibility, I told you we didn't have to worry about the Cavs. Let's just focus on the Celtics. I won't do my Cavs rant again because we've already done that, but I just want to just drive that point home one more time. I told you ain't no one worried about the Cavs. And while this is not a Celtics first round matchup preview, I will give you just a little teaser from it. We beat them last year. I don't care if Jalen Brown is here. It is what it is. We're beating them again. So there's not really room for concern. This is definitely the series you want him to come back for. And definitely put him on maybe Tatum or, or, or Brown or something like that. Just, just, just to see how he's looking type stuff. Now maybe he comes off the bench at first. I don't know how they're going to do it. But I feel like this is a win-win situation. Once Ben Simmons is introduced, and assuming we don't sweep, because it's very possible. So assuming we don't sweep the Celtics, this man's getting a good, like, a game or two out of this. I highly doubt this is going seven games like some people think it's going to go. But again, that is for the preview video, which we will discuss later on this week. What I know is that Ben Simmons on the court getting equated with the team in a Bruce Brown type role. Cue the Migos music, you brothers in trouble. If we, if we can keep it all the way at that way here. If this man is just going to do what Bruce Brown is doing, minus the three-pointers, and again, we don't know if he can't shoot threes because he's been working with Kyle Korver. We saw what happened with Bruce Brown. Who knows what new skills he's going to bring to the table. But even if he is the same old Ben, same old Uncle Ben with his rice, same old Uncle Ben telling Spider-Man with great powers come great responsibilities, the same old Ben with an alleged Omnitrix coming with the same old tricks. I guarantee you we are slaughtering everyone in the Western Eastern, excuse me, everyone in the Eastern Conference. Who's going to stop us? Because again, you saw what Bruce Brown was doing. Ben Simmons will do literally the exact same thing, possibly minus the threes. And he's bigger. That's another basically seven foot tall. I mean, we round up a lot of stuff here. But that man's like, what, like 6'8 or something like that? 6'9? That's basically, that's basically another seven footer out there. And not only that but he's got the ability to handle the ball and control the offense. One of the things that we have seriously had issues with is having someone to handle the ball that has the capability of scoring if they need to off of the bench. No offense to Patty Mills, no offense to Trojic, but it's like having like a solid point guard off the bench where we know it's not well. How are their legs doing? Are they tired? Mm -hmm. Did they get a haircut? I'm like, you know what I mean? We don't have to worry about all that superficial stuff because we're talking about Ben Simmons. And then if he starts, I mean, doesn't that just solve everything? Kyrie doesn't have to be a decision maker. Kevin Durant can go back to just balling. You, you have those two monsters just focus on getting buckets. Combined with the defensive lineup of him and Drummond. Like, I know some people roll their eyes like, oh, well, how's that going to work? Man? I, I just, I just, I just, I just, 
I just, and then you sprinkle in Seth Curry too. And if Seth Curry's hurt, maybe Bruce Brown can come up there, or maybe you can get even more size with Kessler Edwards. Like I just, I just don't see how this is an L in any regard. We needed more defense. You get one of the best defenders first team for two years running added into the lineup. And even if you don't just want to hang your hat on the defense and the passing, just the name alone, it's Ben friggin' Simmons. In any capacity, you put that next to Kyrie and Kevin Durant, it's a dub. And let me focus on the offense for a quick second because people, people just love bringing up the offense for some reason. Y'all must think that man's hands is trapped in the basement. It is locked in the basement and, 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 and he just don't know what to do. We're always hearkening back over to, oh, but what a boot against the Hawks. He froze up. He could have went for the dunk. He passed the ball. He passed the ball to someone who might have had a better chance of making the shot. Maybe Trey Young would have had a charge or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, like there are multiple possibilities. We don't know what's going on with Ben, but he kicked it out over to someone else. Well, guess now. Guess now. Guess what? Instead of that someone else being freaking Tobias Harris or something like that, it's Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving or Seth Curry. And wide open at that. Because the second Ben goes in the paint, you're going to have to double. That's Ben Simmons. You're going to have to double. He'll take you to bully town. If you think Blake Griffin and LaMarcus Aldridge and Andre Drummond are on that bully ball type stuff, y'all must not really know what Ben Simmons does. You're going to have to send a double. Do you think LaMarcus Wild down low in the paint? You're going to have to send a double. And that double is leaving open. Kevin Durant. Kyrie Irving, Seth Curry. Or who knows, maybe the lob to Drummond or Claxton. It's a dub, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. And specifically against the Celtics, we were going to wipe the floor with them anyway. But now you're adding Ben Simmons. Forgive me if my mouth waters just at the possibility of who it is we see after that. Milwaukee don't want none of this. None of this. Because as previously discussed, we are adding 11 players to what we had last year. You want me to go down the 11? I got time. I'll do it. I'm getting my counting hands ready. I'm getting my counting hands ready, fellas. I'm getting my counting hands ready. Healthy Kyrie Irving, Seth Curry, LaMarcus Aldridge is not retired. Bruce Brown can shoot three, so he's new. Drogage, um, we're adding Patty Mills. We're adding Kessler Edwards, Cam Thomas, Drummond. I think I already said Seth Curry. Who else are we adding? Ben Simmons, and someone else I'm forgetting. Oh, Healthy Claxton. That is 11. That is 11 people we are adding to what we had last year. Because remember, it was just KD and Shannon and Mike James and stuff like that. Ooh, 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 Jeff Green and Blake Griffin. And I messed with Blake. I messed with Blake. That was not a shot at Blake. And Harden on one leg. We are adding seven more people to that. I was trying to calm down the expectations going into the playoffs. But now that Ben's coming back, no, it's different. And I said very clearly for anyone who wants to check the energy, I said very clearly that we should calm our expectations down unless that man Ben is coming back. But now that we know allegedly that, allegedly that, that man Ben Simmons is coming back allegedly, I've said it once, I'll say it again. <clears throat> Get your ring fingers measured because it's championship time. Because I'm just trying to figure out if we were already outscoring everyone who was on the court to begin with. Now we have someone who can lock down the best player of whoever you're going to throw out there. I beg of thee, who is stopping us and where is the weakness? Show me. 
started with an alien device than what it did. That's all I'm going to say on that. Set of the bond. That's Republic. Be sure to follow me on Twitter for more shenanigans at Seven of the Bond. And obviously subscribe here to Nets Republic. I'll be back in a little bit. Well, not today, but like tomorrow-ish. To have a proper preview of the Celtics series. Just know that once Ben Simmons comes there, it, it's, it's done. It's, 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 it's done. 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 I'm talking about like worst case scenario, we're down 0-3. It won't happen. But worst case, Ben Simmons.